We move on to which college football programs are set up best to dominate after Nick Saban retires. I think that that is the big... We talk about playoff expansion. We talk about uh, why you can't seem to get anybody else in the playoff, etc. College football has always been a top-heavy sport, but I think one of the biggest things right now is when you have a coach that is dominating, that is that has reached legendary status, that plays a big part in it. When Saban retires, Alabama will not be what they are right now. Once he is gone, which college football programs are set up best? Chris, I'll let you start us off here. Yeah, I don't want to start us off. I don't want to. I don't want to say the answer that that I know is the right answer, and I don't need Nick Saban to retire. So, is is the right answer Georgia to begin with? No. Who are you talking? That boy down at Bennett Road. <laughs> we hadn't even seen I Brian Kelly coach a game in Baton Rouge. I don't Rouge. give a damn. I see what is okay. So, so you think he's just gonna magically just forget how to coach? I did have LSU you think he's on my get list. Worse? You think he's gonna suck? <laughs> I, I did have LSU on my list. Uh, They're going to take that 70-year-old man out to the foot, the woodshed this year, next year, and the year after. Roll time wet. <laughs> Fuck you. I've got Ohio State on here right after Georgia. Um, I think, I mean, Ohio State's always been really, really good. Uh, the year that they did make the national championship game, they ended up losing to Alabama. So, of course... Uh, I'm sure that they would like for them to be out of the way, but it hasn't been Alabama that's been stopping them. So I, while Ohio State is best set up to dominate, uh, they, them not getting there has nothing to do with Alabama. Georgia, uh, they uh, until they won this year, they had lost seven straight, including a national championship game, including an SEC championship game that would have gotten them to the playoff, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, back in BCS days. They lost a game to Alabama in the SEC championship game that would have gotten them in against a weak Notre Dame team. They probably would have beaten them. So Georgia, I think, is best set up. Texas A&M, I think Texas A&M and LSU are right there neck and neck uh, because I do like Brian Kelly a lot. I like Jimbo, but I, I need to see more. Like, I know he just got that number one recruiting class. With all the NIL stuff, Texas A&M is certainly set up to do really, really well. What, uh, so I've got these two that are, you know, neck and neck here. USC and Notre Dame. Like, neither of them has been stopped by Nick Saban, per se. But with Saban's recruiting, etc., that could maybe uh, stop what they're doing a little bit because, you know, Saban's gone out to California and gotten some big-time guys that were planning on going to USC. Now, we've had other guys that, that maybe would have gone to USC had it not been for Mario Cristobal or Dabo Sweeney, et cetera. You know, what What do you think about uh, about USC and Notre Dame here? Not a threat. Not a threat. They'll win a lot of their best in their football game. They will have a, a, an unbelievable season. They'll get into the playoffs, and then they'll play a team that plays defense for uh, USC because that's what Lincoln Riley does. He's just going to make Oklahoma, uh, USC, Oklahoma 2.0. They're going to score a lot Oklahoma of points. West. They're going to yep. – they're gonna they're gonna be they're gonna be real flashy and and they won't be able to stop a cold and uh, and and when they finally play a team that plays defense whether that's Ohio State or whether that's uh, a, a, a big time SEC team or whether that's little old Clemson ever getting back and, and they they just gonna get steamrolled by those teams. Now Notre Dame, what I'm curious about is, you know, we haven't seen Marcus Freeman coach a game yet. Let me take that back. It's impossible. It's impossible for me to give Notre Dame anywhere close to this 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 kind of credit. I love Marcus Freeman. I like Notre Dame. I want them to be good. We cannot have them in this conversation. We just can't. Is there anybody else other than uh, those six that I just named? It, it, and if you exclude Notre Dame, then five: uh, Georgia, A and M, LSU, USC, Ohio State. And if we knock no, off USC, then that's four. Nobody's gonna nobody's gonna do what Bama's doing because a Georgia, Alabama, uh, Georgia, LSU, and uh, and um, uh, uh, A and M are all going to to take from each other. Yeah, they'll they can't, and it's not like Alabama's just going to fall off the face of the earth. Like they'll hire somebody yeah, we hope is competent. Much fall off the face of the earth. It, it, compared to what they are now, most certainly, right? But they're they're still going to get guys. They're still going to be competitive. I, you know, I don't know that there's anybody else that's set up to dominate. I, notice we have not mentioned Clemson in this. 
I, I don't no. I don't trust Clemson after after Brent Venables is gone. Let me no, 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 not at all. But even then, let me tell you what Clemson was a product of. Okay. Clemson was a product of having two transcendent quarterbacks there for six years. And, and for and six it, years they dominated college football. Well, it, they dominated college football, but they, they really only had to dominate a weak ACC. And well, I don't yeah, know that the ACC only, is gonna stay all down. All they had to do, all they had to do was win the games they're supposed to win and then not cock it up in the playoffs. And two of the best quarterbacks college football has ever seen, okay, in the conversation for best career resumes of all time in Sean Watson and, and, and Trevor Lawrence, and they got two championships out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Which is more than a lot of teams. So, I will say so, that. But. No, no, no. It's, um, it's, it's, it's a great feat, and they dominated college football for six years. They were a product of two transcendent quarterbacks. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.